You might be surprised to know that for centuries here in New Zealand, we've been power dressing. Now, throughout history, Māori have used cloaks to represent rank in society. Finely woven cloaks were used to represent chiefly status. Our ancestors arrived in Aotearoa about well, 800 to 900 years ago from warm tropics of Eastern Polynesia. So they had to adapt their cloak making techniques in order to survive the cooler weather. So they adapted what we know as the finger weft twining called fatu, which they used to make their fish nets and traps to make their clothing. The foundation of this type of cloak was woven first using the fatu technique, which is densely packed together. And the reason for that is to keep the wearer warm and dry but also these cloaks were known as wool cloaks. When they immersed these cloaks in water, the fibres swell. So they were virtually impenetrable if someone wants to, to use their taiha or, or handheld weapon. And also they symbolised a person's rank and status. This cloak is called the Kahu Kuri. It was acquired by an early Wellington settler from a Te Ati Awa chief about 1842. It's made for the most prestigious of leaders. Now, the reason this cloak is so prestigious is because of the skin and fur it's been made from. Kahu means cloak, but kuri, that means. Dogs like this were the only mammals brought from the Pacific with the first Māori migrants. Despite having a poor sense of smell, the kuri was used to hunt nocturnal birds like the kiwi. Kuri were also kept as a chiefly pet, taking pride of place on a special map inside the house of Arangatira. The reason for the royal treatment was to keep the white hair of the dog clean. And that's because this snowy white fur was highly prized for other uses. You'll see on this cloak, on the sides here, there are actually tassels of dog hair rather than the hair attached to the skin. And the tassels were formed by shaving the underside of the dog tail. The act of giving a cloak or allowing a guest to wear one especially a kahu kuri, has always been a sign of great honour. Sadly, today, the kuri is extinct, which makes this cloak irreplaceable.